Hey guys, it's Paul with the Saltwater Edge. My favorite super strike to fish is the darter. Hey guys, it's Mario from Saltwater Edge, and Paul's wrong because the needlefish is better. On every trip I go on, the first plug out of my bag is a darter, and that's for a variety of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, it mimics squid really well, which is a primary forage uh, for the bass in our area, especially in the springtime. Um, I don't buy into color too much. Uh, dark nights, I'll fish a dark plug. Bright nights, I'll fish a bright plug, but it doesn't matter if it's yellow or chartreuse or the silver ghost color, it all works. Um, the, super, uh, the darters in particular are really good in current. So anywhere there's a sweep on the shoreline in front of me, just cast it out, dig in the plug with a few cranks of the reel, and then just reel as slow as I possibly can with some subtle twitches in there. So when it comes to the needlefish, I think it's superior to the darter, just because it can do that and more, it is the jack of all trades plug. Um, I can put this thing on the surface, I can load it and practically dredge bottom. Um, I can imitate a myriad of baits, squid, uh, bunker, uh, peanut bunker, herring, everything you can think of pretty much. Um, I can get a needle that's super heavy, punch it out in wind. It doesn't really matter the conditions. If I need to switch it up to a smaller profile to punch through that wind, then I can go with the needlefish bullet. Uh, I can mimic some of the smaller baits with um, some of these smaller super strikes that we have as well. Um, but pretty much I just think this can do it all. And, and you know, maybe not everything well, but it can do it all pretty good. I can definitely see your point there with the darters in particular, at least the ones I have in front of us. It's really hard to fish anything deeper than 15 feet or so. Um, Round shallow boulder fields, these things are awesome. But if I'm fishing a really deep rip, then it's definitely a little tough to get down there. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, current is the weakness for this thing, but usually you can kind of uh, negate that by making it heavier sometimes. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not going to work as well as the darter. Um, I think this thing shines in particular in boulder fields that are shallow, um, just because you can work it on top uh, super fast. Um, but you can also let it, you can get a slow sinking needlefish and kind of just let it hover around, you know, that five to six um, foot mark where usually boulder fields sit in. So, um, but yeah. And going on your point with all the different profiles and sizes, that's what I'm liking about darters nowadays is they come in a ton of different sizes. You can get the giant ones by Mike's, you can go all the way down to the one ounce one by Blonde Terror. And Super Strikes right in the middle at two and three eighths ounce is just perfect. Most rods can throw them from the nine footers up to the 11 footers. Mm -hmm. And they, they cut through wind relatively well. I would say, same thing with the needlefish. Um, I think there's just, I mean, just look at all the styles we have here. We have some small, some big, um, some wad styles. If you need to mimic uh, baits that are a little bit on the fatter side, like Tog, Bunker. Um, like I really just think there's like nothing that you can't imitate. Even the full size needlefish that are almost a foot long. Like I just think it just does it so well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I learned quite a bit about needlefish. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you like this type of conversation and what you'd like to hear us talk about next. Maybe next time I'll have a needle or two in my bag. You can keep your darters.